how y'all doing guys um welcome in here to rover sports um wanted to go ahead and make a uh, darnold and a web video uh tonight and uh, sammy sammy darnold he really really played well um i got to admit uh, I've been, you know, a Darnold hater for a really long time, but this guy uh, is looking really good. He's looking to prove me wrong in spectacular fashion. Um, Adam Gase has got this guy playing at a really, really high level. I love how he's eliminating things so quickly. That's something that I've learned about the quarterback position. He's tapping with his feet. His feet are moving so fast. He's eliminating things immediately. So we're just trying to go back in time a little bit. Uh, we're just trying to go back to one of the first series of the game here. And uh, we're just trying to line this thing up and uh, trying to get. Um, okay, so here we go. Can Nazaro, of course, misses a field goal. So here it's a quick drive from Sam Darnold. I got more thoughts on Davis Webb as we go throughout this video. Okay, got more thoughts on my guy D. Webb. But Sam Darnold was really, really sharp to start this ball game. Okay, there is no taking away how sharp Sam Darnold was to start the game. So Sammy, I mean Sam, the thing is about him is he almost threw an interception to Jabril Peppers on this second and six. Let's see, Peppers. Peppers is going to it's gonna shadow that guy, and he completely fools um, Sam Darnold there because Sam Darnold thinks that that guy is going to be wide open. You see here Peppers slide on out. Darnold thinks he's checked him off. Instead, Peppers is reading him the whole way. He tricks Darnold the entire time. It could have been an interception, maybe even going the other way. DeAndre Baker also on the coverage. Here is Sam Darnold's excellence, okay? It's all pocket mobility and confidence. Sam with a big step back, okay? I love that step back from Sam. He's so athletic. And then Sam, awkward position, but he's the king of awkward. The king of awkward positions. Sam Darnold there gets his lower body into the throw. It almost looks like Sam Darnold's hitting like an upper hand forehand in tennis, okay? Sam Darnold there with a brilliant, brilliant pocket maneuverability, okay? Drew Locke and all these other guys would be fading back, would be panicking. Sam Darnold, so cool under the rush. He's cool being in this congested space. He's cool being in this congested space, and he sees this lane, and he keeps his eyes up the entire time, okay? His eyes aren't darting here. This was Lamar Jackson. If this was another guy, he'd try to scramble, and then the Giants would be able to tackle him short of the first down. Instead, what Darnold does, he's able to look up in the pocket. He lobs this ball over the top of the defense right into the tight end's hands. Unbelievable play. Chris Hermden, a complete, complete beast. The king of the one-hand catch. Sam Darnold then. Holy crap, was this an amazing, amazing play by Sam Darnold on every level. It just gets better each time you look at it. It's like the Mona Lisa. It's like the 16th chapel. It's like the chapel. Sam Darnold here is looking left immediately. He's so good at cutting things off. He's cutting like a knife through hot butter. He's saying, I don't want this topping. I don't want that topping. It's like he's at Quadoba or he's at Chipotle, and he's saying, I don't want this topping. I don't want that topping. Look at how Darnold can scan. He scans. He's like, here's not open. Here's not open. Here, maybe this can get open. So Sam Darnold waits so patiently, and then Sam Darnold there. Look at that. I mean, Dan Orlovsky did a brilliant video on this earlier. I mean, Dan Orlovsky's a great commentator. But what Danny Orlovsky said is that Dan Orlovsky, he would have backed up out of the end zone and gotten a safety. But what Sam Darnold does is Sam Darnold here throwing from that angle, throwing from that angle, fading away and putting a perfect ball on line as Jay Crowder just jukes the living bleep out of Tay Davis. Jay Crowder or Jamison Crowder, whatever the guy's name is, he's running this little route here. 
And uh, and then by Darnold, he's just so confident. This is Floyd Mayweather in the ring. This is the footwork of Mayweather. Sam Darnold, so athletic this year. The footwork is ridiculous. I mean, I can't stop watching the footwork because he has such active feet. He's so active in what he's doing. He's really thinking and playing the game. He's like, here, it, it, nothing's open. There, it's not really open. Okay, I'm going to go to my safety valve, and I'm going to rip this mother effer right into the guy. Incredible, incredible quarterbacking play against pretty good defense by the Giants. I mean, Sam Darnold on each play has like five different targets. He's processing at a level that has never been seen before. Ty Montgomery making a big catch. Ty Montgomery has really bulked up in the offseason. He's been a great adjuster for the Jets. Pick play. Peyton Manning, let's go back to Welker. Let's go back to Demarius Thomas. Let's go back to, 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 to Welker uh, and Eric Decker and those guys. Because that's exactly, that's exactly what happens. Not here, but the next play. Third and two, quick snap, okay? Giants are playing some man-to-man -man defense, cover one. Beautiful pick by 81. Julian Love boxed out, screened out. I missed it. Dang it. I missed it. Dang it. Pick, butter in the biscuit, easy money. Good night. Okay, so here we got Davis Webb coming onto the field for the first time in a year, and I am going nuts. I'm sitting in the back of the end zone. I'm going crazy. So first, first throw from Davis Webb. First throw, D Webb. Look at the footwork. I love it. Davis Webb staring this dude down. He has him the whole way. Look, Davis Webb has this guy the whole way. And from the naked eye, it looks like Davis Webb overthrows this guy. Okay? But watch right here. What happens here? This guy is wide open on the comeback. The, the the leverage the guy is playing over the top defense, giving Webb and, and this guy the field. The ball is thrown right where my mouse is. It's a perfect throw, except the guy just happens to fall down and stumble, makes Webb's throw look like it was overthrown, when really the ball was out perfectly on time. It would have been a perfect completion. Third and eight then, Davis Webb going long ball city. Long ball city, USA. Beautiful, beautiful mechanics on this long ball. Davis Webb from his own 13-yard line, he has about as strong as arm as anybody. He doesn't even really step into the throw, and this ball is going a good 50, 60 yards in the air. That ball's still traveling. What an awesome, awesome throw by Davis Webb trying to hit number six. And just unbelievable defense by Ballantyne. Ballantyne grabs his wrist and the drive continues. Davis Webb then goes play action. He then avoids the pocket, scrambles to his left, and throws a never dime with tons and tons of velocity on it. Davis Webb showing his nimble feet, getting out of the pocket, keeping things moving. Then, this is what really killed the drive. On second and six, there was a holding call which really plagued the drive, plagued it. And then on third and, um, and 13, or, or then on second and 14, they don't even let Webb have an opportunity to throw. Maybe they're scared of Webb actually doing well. And then on third down and forever, the chances of you getting this are one in a thousand. Third and 12. Your side of the field, Davis Webb throws it in the traffic. Two guys are there. I'm sure that was a miscommunication by the third teamers because you're not supposed to have two routes that go there. Davis Webb, though, the arm strength looks really good. He's really improved in the weight room. I'm very encouraged by what I see out of Webb. I am. Now let's go to the two interceptions, which ended his night. Again, Dwayne Haskins had a couple of interceptions, too, and he still had some good throws. So... 
Again, it's preseason football. This is his first game. He's only playing seven. He's only playing. He's only throwing the ball seven times. He's only having a couple of series in a Weber delayed game. Uh, I'm excited to see Webb go out in the next preseason game and just collect some completions. Okay. Um, but uh, anyway, trying to get on with this video here. Okay. So here's the pick six of Webb. This is just a tremendous play by by this by this car lock guy. Okay. Coming up right here. This is just a tremendous play by Carlock. Davis Webb, again, good footwork, like the footwork, like the footwork. And then Davis Webb, stagnant at the top with his footwork a little bit. Carlock makes an incredible play. It happens. J.J. Watt makes plays. Carlock makes plays. Carlock fighting for his team's life. That ain't your regular linebacker. That guy played safety at uh, wherever he was last year in Long Island, okay? That guy's a good undrafted player. So here Davis Webb comes out facing all the adversity in the world. We get a handoff and a couple of other things go down. So then Davis Webb does a really nice job here. He that here Davis takes the check down, okay? Check down City for Webb right here. Looks deep. Guy coming on him. Takes the check down. Second and three. They try to run it. And then here for Davis Webb. This throw was a good throw. Um, but after an interception, that's Webb just forcing things a little bit. Okay, I know it's man to man. But Webb needs to be patient. He is reading the field. He is keeping the he is keeping the safety away from this guy. So he wants it to be one on one, and it is. It does end up being one on one. Puts a lot of trust in this receiver's hands. Maybe trying to draw a flag down the field. Ballantyne makes an incredible play. This was a 50-50 ball all the way with White and Ballantyne, and Ballantyne's a star. And then look at the placement right here of the football. The ball is right there, and the guy whiffs on the ball. He doesn't even make contact with the football. He couldn't even wrestle the ball away from Ballantyne. So, again, the throw, the placement, maybe it was slightly underthrown, but that's a 50-50 ball that if you have a half-decent receiver, he'll at least get his hands on it, and it'll at least be an incomplete pass. Yes, he might have forced the ball, but under circumstances, this was an accurate one-on-one -on -one throw. And if he isn't throwing the third stringers, if Robbie Anderson is running that route or another good receiver on the Jets, that very well could have been a first down. But here's what Webb should have done to avoid the problem altogether, which he'll do next week or in his next location. Davis Webb right here, he easily, it's third and two, find the check down. Find the check down right here. Find the check down, live to fight another day, get the first down. Don't just force the ball right here. You need high volume completions, high volume completions. That's what's needed. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Had fun doing it.